Hello everybody, welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. So today, as promised to a couple people, we will be making the bat, or at least an attempt to make the bat, because it didn't exactly turn out the way I expected, so heads up on that, it does not look like the bat in the end. So yeah, you might be a little disappointed. Uh, but there, of course, there are a couple reasons for that, but nevertheless, we'll get into what we are doing right now. First of all, we have a whole bunch of mods currently installed to make this bat. So I have, let me get my little piece of paper here. We have curb paint mod installed, which I only used it on like a couple parts. But anywho, we have the fire spitter mod, which is uh, great for helicopter parts and stuff like that. Infernal Robotics, which we are currently using right now. As you can see, we have that hinge. And um, the reason why I added that hinge is because I noticed that the actual bat is able to move, like the cockpit is able to move forward and back, sort of like up and down in a way. So the pitch changes. Uh, I don't really know why that is. Um, perhaps it's used to uh, slow down the vehicle, something like that. I'm just making up stories here. Uh, we are also using the Romfer Laser System mod, the Laser Guided Weapons, and uh, one other. And then we have like three Romfer Laser System mods installed. It's all from that Romfer guy. He makes some really good mods, I must I must admit. I actually installed those mods for, for the missiles, because you, you'll find a whole bunch of weapons as well. And we also have the Space Plane Plus mod, which uh, I did mention a while ago, is going to be implemented into KSB, so we better get used to it while we have it. <laughs> uh, it is a good mod, I really like the mod. Uh, obviously there's one problem with the cockpit, how you cannot get Kerbals out, but we'll leave that aside. Uh, so, yeah. Now, right now we are working on the upper part of the bat, and it's, it's a little difficult to to compare, like, I, f I found that a little problematic. I have about probably around four or five images of the bat, and I, I, I skipped to, like, I went, I used every single one of them to figure out where each part was going to be placed. I did my best for the placement, but, you know, of course, I am limited with the parts, even though I'm using all these mods, right? But, you know, obviously not the exact shape. And uh, one thing I really like is... Notice how on the, the bottom right hand corner, we have the bat there, it's in Lego shape. Um, I really like using the Lego ones because, like to make the design, is because it really has a nice outline. And it's not, you know, it's not something that was made on, you know, on a computer program. This was made using like actual parts, real life parts. And so you can see all the fine details of where to put everything. And so I, I use that quite a lot. Uh, yeah, now this is the bottom part of the bat. Um, that's essentially where we will have the propeller, which in this case is actually the helicopter part. Uh, I don't really understand why the underside of the bat looks like this. Can someone explain to me why it looks a little unusual? Like in the actual concept, it, it's it got these weird shapes. So anyway, I decided to copy that anyway. For, I don't know, just because... We're using the concept design, and as you can see, the helicopter propellers there are a little too large. Yes, and right now we have those solar panels. I used the curb paint mod to change the color of them, so that's working all good. And uh, a bit of news from uh, the KSP developers. I was on the KSP forums, and I noticed that they had a whole bunch of images of something that they're going to change which is the explosions. So whenever you crash your airplane or something, the actual animation of the explosion is going to be changed now. Um, I must say it looks good in some parts, but in one part it looks as if a whole bunch of paper is just getting shot out from the explosion. It, yeah, the paper part, I think they should just take out. But anyway, that's just my opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm just using, right now I'm using the fire speeder mod. <laughs> Yes, as you can see, that was a test to see if the missile would work. And it did. It worked perfectly fine. And yeah, yes, yes, yes. And there's the laser system mod right there. All those parts. That's a quite a large missile. I can tell, very large. I don't really understand why you can see the animation right now. Uh, I can't understand why that is, but anyway. 
that's not really an advantage because I, I found it a little difficult to see where all the parts were once this animation was activated. As you can see, it's like a little difficult. Uh, anywho, it lifts off quite quickly. As you can tell, this was one of my uh, first tries. Well, first successful try of getting these propellers to work because uh, before they weren't exactly working. And yes, I needed a few struts to actually hold this together. And as, as I did mention before, the bat that we've made here does not look like the bat that was actually in the concept design. Because, yeah, <laughs> look at that. Look how cool that looks. Awesome. It just looks cool, but uh, as you can tell, it did sort of slow slow our speed a little, so I guess that does help a little. <laughs> a bit of automation, in a way. But not really necessary. And... Uh, the solar panels without the solar panels we would run out of electricity quite quickly so you should be doing this during the day if you do try it make sure during the day man i love those missiles so nice bring them to ksp <laughs> nah nah don't bring them to ksp because it would become kerbal war program and that's not what this is about it's about space not war and look at the underside look how many battery packs we have just <laughs> like so many ah uh. So many, so many. Uh, this actually glides uh, fairly, fairly well. Although I usually always say that for most designs. So I don't know. Whatever you see there, you you make the you be the judge. And propellers are still spinning, even though I've got them off. So I guess that's a normal thing. And that's going down. We are sort of gliding here. And check out the animation for the wheels. Bang! Look how cool that looks. That's really cool, right? Now, now that can be implemented into KSP, right? Right? Into stock, because that's not, you know, it's not anything unusual. It's it's logical. It, it happens. Yes, and look at that. Look at that cool maneuvering. Uh, we are so cool. Alright, let's get closer. We have to shoot it. <laughs> closer. And I don't remember actually getting an actual hit here. Let's see. Uh, we're in a very awkward position to fire the missiles. Come on. Closer. Yeah, this isn't the one that we actually... We just, we missed, yeah. We clearly missed. Okay, that was a bad shot. Even though these are laser-guided missiles, I'm still doing so badly. It doesn't make sense. That... Okay, that, that sort of works. Yes. I guess the, the shockwave um, pushed everything away. Yeah, yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Anyway, what do you think of this design? Tell me in the description if you like it or not. I, I did my best here. I couldn't really use curb paint on the space plane plus parts because they, they don't exactly uh, work together. Curb paint is made for KSP stock, not for other mods, if you're wondering. So, yes, let's see how we go here. Yeah, I think we did get a hit this time. Yes, 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 get a hit. Hit. Fire. <laughs> that was a bit awkward. Yeah. Everything's just decimated. Goodbye. Let's see. Yeah, so that's about it for this for this plane. Essentially, this is where I was doing all the testing. Um, and I was just rotating a little. I'm at full throttle right now with the propellers. And it, you know, it's still doing quite well. It's still moving forward. So, uh, a bit unusual. I don't usually do VTOL type things. And... I think this did quite well. Look at that. That looks so cool. I really like that. It's like a, a bird. But damn. It just looks so cool. The bat. Well, the bat is... Okay. I guess it is a bird. <laughs> yes. And this is the awkward part, which I don't fully understand what was happening here. I use the hinge, and we... The head basically tucks into the body, so... This is its sleeping position. <laughs> you can see it so clearly. And it just flings around right now. Very unusual. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.